This is a video on the Liban DF40 tripod. Now, this is a lightweight tripod made out of aluminium. I would say it's a basic tripod, uh, mainly for use indoors. Can use it for outdoors, but it's mainly for indoors. Um, as you can see on here, it has a locking uh, function on here, which I'll go into. Um, three stages uh, for each leg. Um, at the top here, it has a release plate. Here, it can tilt and pan. So it can pan and tilt. But I'll go through that as I go around it. Uh, also here, as you can see here, it has a bubble uh, on there as well. Uh, and the Liban branding at the front of this tripod. So I'm going to set up this tripod uh, to show you what it looks like and the height. It also comes with a carrying case here which is made out of uh, waterproof nylon with a carrying strap attached to it and has a zip top Okay, now I'm going to show you outside the, using outside it's a nice day, uh, the full length of this tripod. So, first of all, the clips are easy to open and they snap back in place quite good, as you can see. Now the clips are made out of plastic. The legs is aluminium, but the clips are plastic, and you can see they clip in quite good. And it goes in three sections, so that's section two. And I'm entering to the third section, the third lot of clips. Now we're going to open out the, the tripod itself. Phase it towards you. And that's the height of the tripod. As you can see. And that's without raising the top. Now, what I've done now is I've disconnected the plates here, as you can see, and I'm going to put it on my my Canon camera. Now I normally tighten with a using a 50 pence piece, because as you can see at the top here, it doesn't have the loop, but it has the screw thread here. So I just use the 50 pence piece and I always carry one of these in my camera bag at all times. Now that's attached um, to the camera. I can place it on top. Okay, so Bring it a bit forward. Yeah. Now, that's with my camera on top here now. So now I'm going to raise it up uh, to show you how how it looks. Now, what you do is you loosen the, uh, that nut here. That's to turn. And that this one here is to raise it, and then to raise, you simply turn that way. That there you go, so I simply turn the crank handle here, tighten there, 
and as you can see the camera to me now I'm five foot uh, seven and this comes basically up to the top of my the bottom of my nose and that's the height of which this one goes now it's quite sturdy there is a bit of a wind when it blows but this is quite sturdy and there is a level bubble and leveler on the side here and that bubble is in the middle to show that this is level and as you can see I can simply pan around using this handle I can tilt that and if I release this nut here this wing nut I can turn the camera to the side turn the camera that way facing so in all it's not a bad um, tripod at all especially when you're starting out and as you can see the height of it and then to lower it simply crank down the handle which is nice and sturdy it's not loose at all and I can do the height adjustment with this no problem okay with the Vera one tripod here yeah, this is a close-up and the first thing I'm going to show you is the bubble leveler so there's the bubbler leveler there on that side next we have the locking nut here and this is for the to raise the camera we have the crank arm here and that's to lock it into place and if I turn it around the crank arm here is all made out of plastic but it's a quality plastic not a ch very cheap one um, it does fold back to take it out of the way as you can see and fold it down when you need it and as I says um, it's not a, it's made out of plastic the nut is out of plastic plastic covering but it's a metal screw and here now we have if I turn it round we have a wing nut here at the side and that when turned once is to take the camera from landscape to portrait to turn the camera simply by just releasing that screw and then to turn it back simply turn the camera back and turn the knot and that's it and that's now locked into place um, at the top we have a releasing pin here and I'll try and get it into a camera but on top of the pin here it says lock and release and a little diagram showing you a little arrow showing you that way to lock and that way to release so that is at the top I'll simply put that in now to put the camera in this is a universal plate on either side for this so it can go in any direction I'm to lock in In. and now we have here is the, t the panning arm and tilting arm now as you can see we can pan right round no problem and if we release that knot here we can pan round smooth if you tighten this knot that now locks it into place with that 
and for tilting now we simply turn anti-clockwise to release and we can tilt the camera up or down if we want to lock it into place we simply turn this tilting arm clockwise one turn and now that's locked uh, into place so to release anti-clockwise turn and that releases it but if you want to lock the actual pan as I says you tighten this screw here and now the pan is tilted but the pan is locked sorry but the tilt is all right and to lock the tilt again clockwise turn and that's locked into place so I'll turn that back and fix the camera back there and as I said it is a nice neat tripod the majority of it is made out of plastic and aluminium um, so in one respect if this gets caught out in the rain there ain't going to be no rusting and as I said it's a good tripod for a beginner or an intermediate and it's lightweight as well um, one last thing I'll lift that up as you can see it has some additional arms here for more sturdiness to keep it, to keep it more sturdy um, on here and they are made out of plastic as well so the Varabon DF40 tripod is not a bad little tripod um, to have I bought this one um, second hand I because um, I my old Vanguard tripod the plate at the top um, the rubber had disintegrated the rubber around here had disintegrated and it was just getting too old uh, so I had to get rid of uh, had to get rid of that and buy a new tripod. But you can't go wrong with Verabon um, with the DF40. There is a DF41 that looks similar, very similar to this. Uh, I have to admit I don't know what the improvements are to this one, um, but it's not that much spec uh, more than this. If it is please let us know down in the comment section but anyway that is my video of the Verabon DF40 and this is how the Verabon DF40 looks when it's completely folded down I'll leave somewhere along here the actual weight of the tripod without the camera on it but as you can see it falls down to a mini tripod size so portable nice neat and portable and to take with you and to put into a backpack or a carry-on suitcase as you can see anyway if you've had this tripod um, please let us know about your experiences with it good or bad leave it down in the comment section Thanks for watching this video, please like, please subscribe, thanks very much.